Hazleton police have now charged a city man in connection with the hit and run of a 15 year old boy that turned deadly. Eyewitness News was first to report word of the arrest this morning. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live in Hazleton with the story. Andy. Good afternoon, Candace and Nick. We're standing near South Popper Street in the city's south side. This is always a very, very busy street, just about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is where 15-year-old Hector Padilla was hit. He was hit on the night of June 12th. He died on June 18th. His family and friends put up this memorial here where he was hit as an honor to his memory. Today I spoke to his parents, his mom and dad, a very emotional interview. They say they just want some type of closure and they want justice for their son. It hurt enough to lose our kid, and uh, it being our only son, and then now, you know, not having closure on it for such a long time, I, I was doubting we would ever find the person who did it. Pedro and Carmen Padilla say the arrest of 38-year-old Gabriel Hernandez Mendez for the hit and run involving their 15-year-old son is the first step in the effort to heal. We talked with the Padillas at the Hazelton Integration Project a community center that their son attended for several years. Yeah, I mean, losing a son, I wouldn't wish on anybody. Uh, I love my son to death. And he... I brought him here. He used to go to school here after school. And um, it's painful. Every day is painful. Every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't cry. And I don't miss him. They not give me my son back, but I'm so happy the person confessed his crime. But at the same time, I lose my son, my life, my reason to live. I work for him every day. Now I don't got no reason. According to the arrest complaint, Gabriel Hernandez Mendez confessed to hitting Padilla who was riding his bicycle on South Popper Street on the night of June 12th. The Padillas keep their son close. This father wears a necklace containing his son's ashes. Yeah, it gave us closure. It, it helps. It helps the healing. But like I said, we love him. He's home with us. Of course, not like we'd like him to be, but he's home with us. He's, we're, I'm going to keep him in my heart forever, and I carry him with me. Bob Curry is the founding president of the Hazelton Integration Project, which is now trying to help the family deal with the tragedy. Obviously, we took it very hard. It was like very close to losing one of your own. Now you can see all of our coverage on these breaking developments that began this morning on PAHomepage.com. Now Hector Mendez remains locked up at Luzerne County Prison, unable to post $40,000 cash bail. He'll have a hearing next month. Reporting live for the I team in the south side of Hazelton on South Popper Street, Andy Bahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Andy.